Hi there, in this video we will look at how we can use skip keyword and to do keywords in order to skip tests which are suddenly failing for whatever reason and for the to do tests that we would like to test in the future for specific return values but we haven't really implemented the logic in the code itself but we know we will want to run the test and there is a specific value we want to test. Now let's start with the skip block. Now skip, as I mentioned, is specifically for existing logic that it's failing for whatever reason, such as someone maybe went into the code, changed a thing or two, and now the function is not producing the expected results. The test is failing, and really the thing you probably want to do is to comment out the test, so maybe other tests can pass, your CI can pass, and then spend some time to investigate of maybe if the logic needs to be changed, which is being tested, or maybe the test itself needs to be updated. Now instead of commenting out the test, let's see how we can utilize the skip keyword. First of all, we need a failing test, so let's do that. Let's write is number from our number function, which is in the script file, which is currently returning number one. We can say that instead of returning number one, we expect this to return number two, and then we can say testing number. So this is how we're describing the test, and let's run the prove command. So prove test directory or test and this is going to of course fail because we got number one and we expected number two now how we can skip this test is actually quite trivial so we introduce a skip keyword then a block where we would like to move all the tests which are failing which is currently our number test close that off rerun the test with the prove command this is still failing and the reason is because we also need to describe why our test is being skipped and you can do that with another keyword which is skip lowercase and you give a reason for example not getting expected number and then you just close it off save the file rerun the test you're going to see that everything is fine if you actually rerun the proof with verbose flag what you're going to see that we are running two tests and the first one is fine where we're requiring the script file and the second one is actually not okay since we're skipping it looks like i misspelled getting so ng so not getting expected number and this is actually not failing the whole test run because we're explicitly skipping it and the final result from our test run altogether is okay now when you're running tests with no plan as we're currently doing it it doesn't really matter how many tests you would like to skip but for example if we would like to run our tests with specific amount of number of tests we would like to execute then we can actually extend the skip block by saying of how many tests we are expecting to skip now let's add another number test so i'm just going to duplicate this line and let's say here we're expecting still number two still testing number this might be a different test for you it doesn't really matter all we really want here are two tests that we want to skip and let's change from no plan to specifically of how many tests we want to run so tests in this case are three so again we are using the require okay which is not just requiring the script file but it's also testing that loading this file was okay so that's one test and plus two or four tests which are expected to fail because the number function is returning number one and we are expecting number two now if we save this and rerun our test you're going to see that the skip is not really working anymore and this is because now you need to provide of how many tests you would like to skip in your skip block now here we know that we would like to skip two tests so in order to provide the number you can just add comma and a second value to the skip keyword which is number two rerun the tests and you're going to see that now two four tests which were failing are now being skipped and we are in total planning of three tests and two of them are being ignored well i wouldn't really say ignored but the test is kind of turning its head the other way and just skipping these for now all right so that is for the skip keyword the second keyword we're going to look at is called to do and it's very similar to the skip block the difference really between to do is that there are cases where you write the test first and then the actual logic and when you write the test first you say that you know that you want explicit value to be returned for your function but you don't really know how you are going to get there now in that case the to do block is perfect because you can write the test for the expected value you know that the function is not producing that value but you would like to execute other tests in your whole test file so let's do that let's go to our script file and let's say we don't want to return number one and our end goal is to return a number of 100 and we're not really sure how we're gonna get there but that's our goal to return number 100 if we go back to the test all you really need to do is change the skip keyword to to do so the structure remains the same you provide a block where are all the tests we're going to skip and instead of using the skip keyword you can say local to do so to do and you add a message explaining why these tests are still to do such as i want number 100 and i don't know how i will get oops get there 
all right so let's remove one of the tests and here we can say that we expect number 100 and let's describe the test saying cut number 100 so now we are using the plan test so let's change that to no plan because we are not really running three tests in this scenario rerun our tests we're going to see that everything is passing as expected however there is now a warning that says not okay uh, got number 100 that is all described test and there is the to do message that says i want number 100 but i don't know how i will get there and it also explains that currently we are getting undefined and expected 100 the to do keyword is kind of a neat way of pairing all the tests beforehand with expected values you want and once you actually implement the logic you can just update the, the test itself and just move the test that was failing before outside of the to do block or just remove the to do block altogether all right this is it for this video we looked at two new keywords which are skip and to do and just to quickly reiterate so the skip keyword is for when the code you have written before is suddenly failing so are the tests so instead of just commenting out the tests you can wrap them into skip block and add your reasoning of why they're currently being skipped and the to do keyword is for when you would like to approach the test driven development first so write your tests write expected values and then you implement the logic I hope you found this video useful and I'll see you at the next one.